Prohibited activities during quarantine. Family members are prohibited from visiting in all circumstances. The quarantined person is strictly prohibited from leaving their room. The quarantined person is strictly prohibited from smoking, including e-cigarettes, or drinking alcohol. The quarantined person is strictly prohibited from taking any sharp objects into the hospital premises. A SIM card with an internet package for use during the quarantine at MUOQ will be placed in the first aid kit inside the car which collects you at the airport. When the quarantined person arrives at Jacqueline Naribudin Medical Institute, ward staff will open the car door and lead the quarantined person to the quarantine ward. Ward staff will open the ward door for the quarantined person. Please look for the direction signs on the right. Follow and walk along the red line to the quarantine room. When the quarantined person enters the room, ward staff will close the door. After entering the room, the quarantined person must scan the following QR codes. QR code 1 to join the line group Organizational Quarantine Ward. QR code 2 for instructions of cost application. QR code 3 to download cost application. Then scan QR code 4 to check into Organizational Quarantine Ward. MUOQ's rooms are single bedrooms with ensuite toilet and shower. The table close to the door. Do not move. Staff will place things such as meals, clothes and trash bags for quarantined person on the table. For meals, the nurse will recheck the dietary requirements and food allergies with the quarantined person via line group. Three meals a day will be served in the room as follows. Breakfast, 7 to 8 a.m. Lunch, 11 to 12 a.m. Dinner, 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. MUOQ has staff on duty 24 hours a day. The quarantined person can communicate with nurses via line application or intraphone in the room. The phone will go through to the nursing counter directly without entering a phone number. Use clothes and waste. Each day the quarantined person will receive one set of red bags which contains three cable ties, two unlabeled large red bags for used clothes. Place used clothes in a large red bag, tie the bag tightly and place it into a second large red bag and tie with a cable tie. Four labeled small red bags for trash and waste such as food containers and used toilet paper. Place the trash in the relevant small red bag, tie the bag tightly, then put it into the second red bag and tie the bags with a cable tie. Place all the bags on the floor inside the room next to the door. The bags will be taken every day at 6 to 7 p.m. by the housekeeper who will give a new set of red bags. The quarantined person must measure their vital signs two times a day at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. One vital sign measurement kit contains one blood pressure monitor with charging cable, one thermometer, one oximeter. The quarantined person has to measure their vital signs at the same time and send the reports via the line group and the nurse will record them in the system. If the quarantined person has any abnormal symptoms, please contact the nurse immediately.
the quarantined person will receive a certificate of quarantine and the results of swab tests from the nurse. Please check the accuracy of these documents. Before leaving, the staff will take the quarantined person to the finance section on the second floor to complete the payment and get the receipt. Another member of staff will take the quarantined person's luggage to the car. While waiting for the payment process, the quarantined person will receive Management and Services of Mahidon University Organisational Quarantine Evaluation Form from the Finance Officer. After completing the evaluation, please return the form to the Finance Officer. After receiving the payment receipt, please check it is accurate before leaving. The staff will lead the quarantined person to the car in front of the building. 